Hey everybody, Dale and Shirley Guiducci from Lifestyle Over 50 coming to you. We want to talk about our trip to Jonathan Dickinson State Park on the east coast of Florida. Just a great time, would you agree? Amazing time. Yeah, and so what would you say, let's just dive in, what would you say is the highlights for you or things that you think that people would be most interested about at Jonathan Dickinson? Well, first, I really loved our campsite. It was really wide, um, so we just had tons of space. And because of our screen tent and our canopy that we put up and the space, uh, the the foliage between was really nice to have that privacy. Mm -hmm. And the campsites are six miles in from the main road mm -hmm. so the quiet was amazing and that's you know that's a big thing that we love with camping we enjoy the outdoors we enjoy hiking and biking um but we love the peace that's why we go you know to get away and i will say those two things right there were the highlights for me yeah. is all the biking and hiking trails yeah for sure and and you know being the six miles in and having that quiet you know we've been to some campsites where you could hear the road noise yeah. right you know so it was really great i will say though when we and of course every time we go we ride around right we rode around the river campground which is where we were there's two separate parts there's the river campground which is the six miles in that Shirley was talking about and so that's where we were and I think we had the best site though we really did you know so and not that was site what, 125 I think it was 125 it's in the blog you can see it but um but the rest of the sites weren't quite as big, weren't quite as wide. And then that was at the river campground. The other campground, I believe, is called the Pine Grove Campground. And that's right near the ranger station as you pull and you take a left. And that's near the road. So they've got road noise. But more importantly, they had no trees. Right. There was no, it was just no shade whatsoever. I mean, if you're going to be there and it's going to be in some of the warmer Florida months, which most months are warm, you're going to fry. And so we were glad to be in the river campground. So that would be one tip I would give everybody, right? Yeah. And that pine uh, campground is great for people, you know, making a pit stop, That's right. maybe a long journey uh, to another state, location, campground, yeah. whatever. So it was a great little uh, pit stop because it's right off the freeway. Yeah, just go there for one, two nights and right. then move on, right? But we were there for, for longer, of course. But I do agree the biking was phenomenal. Spectacular. You know, a lot of biking uh, that can be done there. Um, a lot of hiking. We didn't do a lot of the hiking because it had rained a lot. So <laughs> everything was pretty wet. And uh, we started to go down one path and it was just all mucky and wet. So we didn't do a lot of hiking, but there is a lot of hiking there. And then the other thing is that you can paddle the Loxahatchee River. Right. And that's just a beautiful, beautiful river that uh, uh, we didn't take advantage of because you had a, a, a wounded uh, hand at that point. So no kayaking for you at that point. But right. Um, but you can take advantage of that. So uh, great park, I would think, right? You would say. It's Remember the observation tower? Right. That's Hope Sound Tower. Right? Hope Sound Tower. Hope yeah. Sound Tower. Observation Tower. And we rode our bikes to we that because there's there's miles of opportunity for biking. And then we thought it was you know it's funny how you drive in and you kind of forget and we forgot all the hills you know that we drove in. <laughs> In order to get to the tower, we had to ride that. So it was a phenomenal exercise and then incredible view uh, at the tower. So definitely a sight uh, to see as well. And the kayaking. Yeah, you know, it is something that we love to do, but I had an injured hand, so I haven't been able to kayak yet. But when you see it, it's something you'll absolutely want to do. And I think the thing that stood out, um, and re if you remember, with the hiking we did do was along one of the service roads, right? right? And you can see, in fact, I think, I forget how you put it, about um, the palmetto uh, trees and pines. You said palmettos and pines you can see forever, however you put it. Salmetto, pa salmetto palms, yeah. from, as far as the eye can see. I forget. <laughs> it it's is. in the article. <laughs> But and there's pictures too. But you, you take you took some of these pictures and it's a saw palmetto mm -hmm. plant uh, bushes and then the the big pine trees and you you can't as far as you can see is 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 that so really really beautiful. Now the other advantage too, I think Jonathan Dickinson uh, for some people uh, they might want to take advantage of is some of the things you can do outside right. Jonathan Dickinson because it's located right on the the main uh, coastal road the A1A I believe. Uh, right there in uh, the Jupiter, Florida area. So when you go into Jupiter, there's a ton of stuff to do if you want to go out to a restaurant, things like that. But we also had been 
previously in Jupiter to the River Bend Park. And if you want to kind of extend your nature tour, if you will, either hiking or biking or paddling, canoe or kayak, uh, River Bend Park is spectacular. Uh, correct. It's it's at the top of my list for one of my favorite places to hike and bike. And the cool thing about Riverbend, it has multiple ecosystems right inside the park. So each different trail, you can run into a different ecosystem environment and you'll just be blown away by the beauty, you know, the wildlife on top of it. And so we've walked it, but we've also biked it and it is huge it's a beautiful big park that you can experience tons of stuff i mean we've seen gator in right. there we've seen turtles uh, on rocks out in the, the river uh we've deer. seen snakes yeah that too <laughs> <laughs> we've seen a deer uh, riding our bikes right we're just riding our bikes and, and i don't know if we stopped or we didn't but the, the, the a mama and the babies came yep. right out on the uh, bike path and you took some great pictures of that and even just walking the raccoon you know that we saw that's right it was on the edge of the road and it was during the day which was surprising so he's kind of like passing through and i got to get really close you know to him and take a picture and God. Don't forget the woodpecker. Oh my God. Okay. The woodpecker. <laughs> like, yeah. can you see I get excited? The woodpecker, I heard the sound and I looked up and I'm like, oh my God, that looks huge. I never seen this uh, species, the uh, species uh, yeah, of the woodpecker. And I got close and we were able to look up and there was three, four, five, or uh, there might have even been six. And they were really, really tall and the most beautiful bird I ever seen. And you'll see a video video on the blog post. Um, of course, this video is in the blog post, but if you're looking at this on YouTube, first of all, subscribe and, and, and like the video, but you can also visit, there's a link to visit the blog uh, post, uh, and you can go and see a video specifically about the woodpecker and read more about uh, Riverbend Park, as well as the whole uh, review we have on Jonathan Dickinson State Park and the surrounding area. So all in all, a great time. Uh, the downside, I'll, I'll have to share this because it's funny now. <laughs> we bought a 12 by 12 canopy and we set it up right outside our pop-up camper, you know, for shade. And it was just awesome. It just gave us so much area outside the camper to, uh, uh, you know, dine and just sit around and enjoy and whatnot and be protected from the rain and the, and the sun. But we had some friends in the area. So we went over to Riverbend Park and then we visited our friends that lived in Jupiter and it downpoured while we were gone. For and hours. For hours. <laughs> and we came back and the rain just mangled the uh, canopy, the 12 by 12 canopy. So we used it for about a day. Yep, that was it. <laughs> about a day, not even 24 hours. And by the way, also forgot to turn on lights, um, not realizing, I guess we were having so much fun. We didn't realize we'd come back in the dark. So we pull up in the pitch black dark to our canopy just collapsed in our lounge area in front of the camper. And we're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and the next day the ranger came with his, his little cutters and we cut it all up into tiny little pieces and he hauled it away. So that was the, that was it for our, for our canopy. But we had a really, really good time. We highly recommend uh, Jonathan Dickinson State Park. But it, you know, I will say one other thing though, right? Because we usually go camping from Wednesday to Saturday. So Wednesday was peaceful and quiet Wednesday night. Thursday was peaceful and quiet Thursday night. And then Friday was the night that we went away right. to have dinner with our friends. And we came back and the park was packed. I mean, there were dogs, kids, um, every campsite was right. taken and it was very, very loud. So this is what we woke up to on, on, uh, on uh, was it Saturday, right? right. And it was like, we were kind of glad to be getting out of there. So if you have the opportunity to camp at Jonathan Dickinson during the week, perfect. It's just that obviously that East Coast area of Florida is very populated. And then on the weekend, people come in droves and they bring their kids, they bring their dogs. So the peaceful camping experience kind of goes away at that point. But of course, if you're, if you've got kids and dogs, then you're going to fit right in. So. Yep, it was awesome. Definitely two thumbs up. Yep, two thumbs up for Jonathan Dickinson State Park. Stay tuned because we are going to be doing more videos, more reviews on state parks that we visited. In fact, the next one coming up is Hillsborough River State Park on this coast over here. We'll have that for you shortly. Take good care, everybody. Bye, everyone.